Come in this way because we're, you're off stage right now. is a second home for many of these students. On average, I dance about 40 hours a week. Good, just take it from each other. We have rehearsals from 4 in the afternoon to 11 at night. I love it. It's my life. Over the years, passion and hard work have paid off for this program. It's known nationwide, which is awesome because we have Barb and because we have Robin. I want a little more action together. They're just awesome professors that teach us so much, not just how to dance, but how to choreograph how to express yourself through movement. It's such a gift that we have here at the University of Whitewaters. Five, six, ready, and a one. Robin Pedersen has two master's degrees in dance. My colleague, Barbara Grubel, did work and perform in New York for, I think, 16 years. Do it all together, go into the big jump. They get kind of both sides of the dance education world with the two of us. Try to make your movement really big. Try to really travel. They just challenge us constantly to really push ourselves. So it should be no surprise that work created here is respected on a national stage. We take our dancers to American College Dance Festival every year, and we show our works compared to other schools. At this conference, they look at 40 to 60 different works, and then they choose the best to be on a gala concert. We have, in the last nine years, had seven pieces chosen for gala concerts. It's an honor. It's amazing. It's so awesome. Perhaps even more amazing, because none of these students are dance majors. They come from all different majors. People are aware of our program in different departments because of the breadth of the students that we pull into the program. The program is only offered as a minor, but that hasn't affected the level of commitment or quality. And reach, very much better, go. The whole campus contributes to the success of our program and the growth of our program. And to Robin, it's all about growth. About who they are as people, because they may never dance again. But they, they learn to commit themselves and more than just their bodies. They help each other. Or just slow it down a little bit. You know, it's a powerful thing. I think about these times and you look at the news and you can get depressed and you can think everything's awful. And I feel so grateful to be creating work with people who commit themselves and something happens. What happens are life lessons that extend beyond dance. Today in America it's kind of a, an instant gratification kind of a society and, and this is something that really takes a lot of, of work and control and, and building on it and looking towards what's going to happen down the road. We take care of each other outside of here. It's nice because you make those connections that you know are going to stay with you. It's Give yourself a break and take the, have patience with yourself to learn something. It's going to take time to get it. As long as you keep working at it, you'll, you'll do fine. Every year I'll come home from rehearsal and say, I just love my students. The people, the experience, the process is more important than the product. Good job, you guys. We're fortunate that we also tend to have some good products also. 